This is an interesting question on uh, logs and clearly what we have to do here is we need to use the formula for changing the base of logs because we've got one here base 8, one here base 4, one here base 2 and one here base half. So the formula for changing the base of logs is log to the base m of n equals log to the base p of n over log to the base p of m and we're going to use that to change all of the bases to the same base. Now in actual fact um, what I'll do is I'll do it the traditional way but afterwards I'll just show you a little trick where we can uh, simplify that. So okay so let's change all of these so uh, log to the base 8 of x equals using this formula here and changing it to log 2 log to the base 8 of x is log to the base 2 of x over log to the base 2 of 8 and then log to the base 4 of x is log to the base 2 of x over log to the base 2 of 4 and then log to the base well we'll leave log to the base 2 of x because it's in the right log and then log to the base half of x is equal to log to the base 2 of x over log to the base 2 of a half and all that lot equals 1 now log to the base 2 of 8 is 3 and because 2 cubed is a 8 and log to the base 2 of 4 because 2 squared is 4 is 2 so we can simplify this to log to the base 2 of x over 3 add log to the base 2 of x over 2 add log to the base 2 of x add log to the base 2 of x over this thing here well let's just have a quick look at log to the base 2 of a half well log to the base 2 of a half equals log to the base 2 of 1 take away log to the base 2 of 2 which equals, well, any log of 1 is 0, and log to the base 2 of 2 is 1. So therefore, log to the base 2 of a half is minus 1. Um, and so basically, this thing here uh, becomes log to the base 2 of x over minus 1 equals 1. Uh, and now this and this, log to the base 2 of x add that minus 1 is 0. Uh, I'll come back to that in a minute, um, and then basically that leaves us with log to the base 2 of x over 3, add log to the base 2 of x over 2 equals 1, i.e. Uh, multiplying everything by uh, 6, we get uh, 2 log to the base 2 of x, add 3 log to the base 2 of x equals 6, i.e. log to the base 2 of x is 6 over 5, and so therefore x equals 2 to the power of 6 over 5, um, or alternative, we could say that that is basically the fifth root of 64, uh, and that is the answer. Now, just going back to this, uh, where we had, uh, no, not that one, sorry, going back to this here, uh, here, um, let's just have a look at that. If we have here log to the base n of x, add log to the base 1 over n of x, well, basically, log to the base 1 over n of x always equals minus log to the base n of x, just by using the same formula that we just used. So log to the base one n of x add log to the base 1 of n over x always equals 0. And in actual fact, I saw a, um, a, uh, an Olympiad problem which basically asked us log to the 4 of x add log to the 2 of x add log to the half of x add log to the quarter of x. Simplify that. Well, of course, it equals 0 because that add that is 0 and that add that is zero. Useful trick. Uh, if you found this interesting, uh, please like this video and subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.